Hi guys and welcome to my Christmas kitchen. I hope everybody is well. Um, I've got two low protein um, party foods to share with you today. Um, obviously Christmas time, Christmas Eve, whatever, there's always a chance for a party. And these are two great make ahead um, foods that you can freeze and just pull out when you need to. They can be eaten hot or you can have them cold. Um, they're great for parties, but also great for lunch boxes all year round and you can adapt them and I'll show you how to do that. So the first one we've got is uh, a veg roll. <clears throat> um, really simple to make, really easy. And the simple fact is we're gonna use um, gluten-free puff pastry, um, which I've just cut right down the middle. So we've got one sheet, which makes two. So when you do it, just have the long side facing you because we're gonna roll them that way, not whip ways like that. So that's the puff pastry. You can find that in the supermarket in the chill bit. Sometimes it's in the frozen section. Just choose a brand that um, you trust and that is um, quite low in protein and this one is quite low in protein so it's great um, for the filling uh, again really easy so in my bowl I've got some um, butternut squash which I've roasted um, with some onion so I've got 200 grams of butternut squash and I use the frozen one because again it saves peeling and it tends to come in a bag which is 200 grams so whole bag into that I've got 50 grams of onion which I've just um, diced finely two tablespoons of oil rub that roast it just until it's soft but it's quite dry so you want to kind of drive off all that moisture in there so um, the less moisture in this is better so that's in the bowl so i'm just going to just with the back of a spoon because it's roasted again it's really easy just to mash everything together you can use sweet potato you can always add some um mashed potato into this as well and just by roasting it we're just kind of adding that little bit more flavor and we know then that the veg inside is cooked so we don't have to um, bake them for a long time in the oven because puff pastry likes high heat for a short amount of time. So that's our mashed butternut squash with our onion. Um, to that, I'm then going to add 50 grams of mushrooms. Now, these are raw and I've grated them um, just because they cook really quickly. And if you cook mushrooms, um, they tend to kind of go really watery. Um, and what we don't kind of want is all that water in our stuffing. So there's our 50 grams of mushrooms. And again, you can use chestnut mushrooms, you can use white mushrooms. I think chestnut mushrooms have got a little bit more flavor. So that's gonna go in. And then to that, I've got just to absorb and add a little bit of texture to this. I'm using our low protein crackers, which I've just crushed up. So I've got 35 grams. I just put these in a freezer bag and then just bash away with a rolling pin. And um, if you've got any broken crackers, when you open them, make them into breadcrumbs and again, keep them in a bag and you can keep them in the freezer until you need them, weigh them out and you can just use them straight away. So that's our cracker crumbs going in. I've also got 50 grams of low protein cheese. Um, you can use a variety, you can use the block, you can use the mozzarella, you can use the grated, you can use the Mediterranean, which is really nice in this. I've got the mozzarella, which I'm gonna add in, because I think that melts slightly better. And again, just adds all of that yummy flavor to it, give that a good mix so everything's incorporated together. And then we need to season, because I didn't don't season when you roast the vegetables because that leaches out more water and what we want to do is dry that off. So never season roasted vegetables before you roast them, season them afterwards. So I'm going to add in a pinch of salt. I'm going to pour a lot of cracked black pepper in there. And at this stage, you can add some tomato puree, you can put some olives in there, you can do some artichokes, anything that kind of comes in a jar is really quick and easy for this one. But again, you can add some roasted red pepper, um, you can add celery, you can do cauliflower, you can do broccoli, anything that kind of mashes down. 
And then I'm just gonna pop it in a teaspoon of mixed herbs. If you wanna add garlic puree at this stage, you can do. Smoked paprika is really nice. Cumin, coriander, you season this up however you want to. So that's our mixture done. Well blended and nice and soft. So I've got some snow prow and a little pastry brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush the two edges of the puff pastry. This will help everything seal together. When you buy puff pastry, you can keep it in the freezer until you need it as well. Um, it's really versatile to use. I'm gonna take half of the mixture. This is when it gets a little bit sticky. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna divide that into two and just roll it just so it fits halfway down the pastry. And then take the second half and roll again just so that's all filled, squash it right to the end. And then let's take the next lot. These are great for um, anybody on a low protein diet because you can cut these as big or as small as you want to. Um, for party, I tend to do them quite small. But again, if you want to use these for lunch boxes, you can cut them whatever size you want to. Um, last little bit on the edge, spread that out. Let's get all of them last little bits out and to there. Fab, let me just degunk my hands because it is sticky work. And then all you're gonna do is just literally fold over the puff pastry so they roll over and then the seam is underneath and I will pick that up so you can see it. So you can see the seams underneath because we've used the snow prow that will um, stick everything together. Again, squash it down and then roll it up. Make sure that seam is underneath and it's all sealed together. And then all you need to do is just with a sharp knife is just cut them into whatever size you want to do. At that stage, you can pop them on a tray and you can put them in the freezer and you can bake them off whenever you want and you can bake them from frozen. Um, if you want to bake them, now you can do. And again, if you put them in an airtight container, they, they stay really crisp. And again, you can just defrost them and eat them cold or you can warm them back up in the oven. So I'm just gonna cut a few of these, pop them on my tray. Let's grab a lime baking sheet and then pop them on. Like so, and what I do just with a pair of scissors, just to let some steam out, I just do three um, cuts along the pastry, going lengthwise, just so the steam can escape and the pastry will then stay nice and crisp. And then to brush these, you can brush them with your snow prow and your paintbrush. But what I've got here is I've got some olive oil and it's just got a little sprinkling of smoked paprika. Um, just because this will add a nice colour to the pastry, which we kind of lack in there. Plus it's going to add another flavour to the rolls. Again, really easy to make, but really great. Ty loves these in his lunchbox, um, but also for our Christmas parties, especially on Christmas Eve, because that's when I always do our party there. So brush over the top, try and go all down the sides. Once 
last one. And again, so there's our veggie rolls ready for the oven. 200 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes. But again, just keep an eye because everybody's oven is slightly different. I'll finish them once off. I'll bake them and then you can all see them. Uh, the next one, again, is really simple um, and easy to do. Um, these are um, a breadstick. It's kind of like a stuffed breadstick. So you need a quantity of the basic bread dough, which you can see me do that in another video. I've just flavored that with tomato puree. I've got smoked paprika. I've got herbs. I've got black pepper in there as well. So that's why um, it kind of looks that orangey coral color. And then you'll need some of these, which are um, bamboo skewers. You can get these from every supermarket now. They're normally in the home bit, but sometimes they might be in the meat section. So onto these sticks, it's completely down to you and you can be as adventurous as you want to do. I've got some olives here, and um, again, black or green. And um, you can use cubes of cheese. The block cheese is really good in this one because it tends to melt, but it will hold its shape so it won't kind of fall off the stick. Um, you can use baby tomatoes, you can use um, baby onions, you can use uh, peppers, any kind of vegetables that will kind of roast, courgette. Um, chunks of aubergine, it's completely enough to to you. You kind of want that on the skewer. You can put as many as you want. Um, and then with the bread dough, all you do is roll it out using a little bit more of the low popin mix to save it sticking to the board. And then you kind of want to roll it out into a sausage shape. And then all we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the skewer in between the olives. You can push them down, spiral it round. They're quite delicate, but once you get going, they're kind of easy to do. Because it's bread, you can just squash it on. My end bit there has just come off, but I'm going to squash that on like so. So there's your bread you were done. Um, pop them on a tray. Um, I've then got some um, mushrooms. And again, these are the roasted mushrooms, which are in um, oil. Thai loose mushrooms. So these are definitely a winner. And again, really quick and easy because it's things that we can buy uh, rather than us having to make. And at Christmas, sometimes it's easier to buy than it is to make. So snap off that little bit at the end, squash that on. You can then squash it together. So there's a mushroom one done. So again, just go as um, use, use whatever vegetables that you want in there, cubes of cheese. Um, once they're done, again, I'm going to brush them with the same oil that I've used, which is the paprika and the olive oil. I'm going to brush the veg as well. So they just need to be covered, left in a warm place for about half an hour just for the bread to prove. Then they go into an oven, 170, for about 10, 12 minutes. Um, let them cool on the tray. You can eat them straight away. You can freeze them. So let me pop all of that in the oven and then come back and I'll show you what everything looks like when it's baked. So guys, we've got our breadsticks out of the oven and we've got our veg rolls. They're all baked and they smell absolutely amazing. They're really hot still, but I'll try and pick it up. So there's your breadstick that's got the mushrooms in and then you've got your uh, veg rolls, really crunchy and crisp with that puff pastry. Again, allow these to cool. You can keep these in an airtight container in the fridge. Just layer them up with some kitchen roll or some greaseproof paper. And then you can take out um, a veg roll whenever you need to. Um, and the same with your breadsticks. They can be frozen and then you can pull them out. Both can be rewarmed re again in the oven if you need to. So two great make-ahead um, party foods or lunchbox meals. So 
If you need any other Christmas recipes, they're all on Low Protein Connect and there's loads on there for mince pies and Christmas cakes and all sorts of things. Um, if not, come back into my kitchen and I'll show you another Christmas video. Um, we've got loads to show you. So we've got desserts, we've got main courses, we've got starter, we've got more party foods. So um, keep watching and you can get that freezer filled ready for Christmas. See you next time. Bye.